Best Medicine Podcast with Simba. Sparking positive change in the community. Having real conversations and therapy. And you know the laughter's the best remedy. Got that heavy dose of humor for your hearts to heal. With mental health, it can't get any more real, yeah. Best Medicine Podcast. Laugh, love, learn. Best Medicine Podcast. Best Med Pod. It's your man Simmeroar back in this thing thing one more time, bruh. And today, I am sitting by the pool, y'all. <laughs> I am out here bathing in the sun and you you can hear birds chirping or squawking. That's more of a squawk. It's a squawk. Yeah, it's a squawk. <laughs> <laughs> I hear birds squawking. So this is a this is a little different. I'm usually in the house, but I love the the outdoors and man. So today, if you listen to the diagnosis, you know that all I have are special guests and today ain't no different. Today I have two young men who are giving a voice to the Bay Area. They're allowing these artists to share their art, their mind, soul, their bodies to you guys and putting it on a platform that anyone can see. So if we're across the world, we can still see these these videos. I introduce you today to the Summit Sessions. Hey, how's it going, guys? Thank going you so on, much yo? for having us, yeah, Simba. For real. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, first off, I just want to say I love the show. Thank you. Love the Thank show. You. I love um, the artists on the show. Thanks. It's man. like it's really, it's really special when you when you select the right people, and it just makes everything just seem like it's mm. really bigger than what it is, and that's what it, that's what your show does. Um, talk a little bit about it. Tell us your names. Introduce you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Andre, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Oh, you know, I mean, let's let's just go back and forth. We'll just bounce off each other, man. <laughs> this is our first ever like public podcast. We don't talk to people. we don't talk to people. So <laughs> yeah, like, it's just this is pretty special. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to like figure out the order. We're both co-founders. By the way, I'm Marcel Scott. Um, Simba, again, thank you for having yes, us. Sir, yeah. Um, co-founder of Summit Sessions. Uh, I do. I'm the visual side. Okay. Um, visual sides. Always getting better, always trying to get better, yeah. you know, not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. It's trial and error. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For real. And I'm, I'm Andre Baca. I'm the sound guy. Baca. Yeah, Baca. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, basically, like, do you want, like, the whole rundown of how we started? Yeah. For the most part? Like, yeah. What, what, what is your side? He's, he's, he's visual. Uh, I'm, I'm the sound. So I'm, I'm all the yeah. auditory side. So you can close your yeah. eyes and you'll still have a good time yes. watching the show. Yes. Um, he's the reason why we sound crispy right now. But uh, at least you guys should sound crispy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we started at the beginning of uh, COVID. Uh, and basically I came to Marcel with an idea that I wanted to do something for local artists, being an artist myself. Yeah. I wanted people to have a way to perform because I saw COVID shutting down every concert venue, every club, exactly. every place for people to perform. And that's like a big way for us to get exposed is audiences. Um, so I came to him with the idea that we could do a stream here and he took the idea and turned it into a real vision. That's um, awesome. And invested his time, his money, everything into it. And I, I don't know where he'd be without him today, honestly. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, for, like, it was it was actually pretty funny when Andre came to me with the idea. He was like, um, it would be cool to do, like, a live stream in my room. And I'm just, like, looking around at his room. And not to, like, say anything bad about his room, yeah. but I'm just like, dude, this is not yeah. going to work. So then I just, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what about outside? Like, let's figure this out outside. And I knew, like you know, coming from a live broadcast production background. Okay. Um, that's why I worked in prior to COVID. Um, I knew the difficulties that it was going to bring shooting outside, but I thought it was going to be unique. And I thought it was going to bring yeah. like a really extra amazing part to the music. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we are trying to do something that is really hard um, yeah. and we're trying to do it in an environment that has all sorts of difficulties, heat, yeah. rain, um, all sorts of things and wind and birds and yeah, like and every, yeah, every single, squawking. every single time, like how 
Andre makes it sound amazing, like baffles me. I'm just yeah. always like, how did that sound? You so can't good? hear any of it. You can't. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's something to say. It's something to say about um, making that audio sound like as if it's just me and you. Yeah. And it's, it's just, it's also knowing like the artists yeah, and like what they're like, you got to decide, like, am I going to mic them up with a condenser? Am I going to mic them up with a dynamic yeah. mic? Like what, what are they, are they like a very, you know, excited, you know, bright like thing, or are they a little more soft spoken? Like, and I definitely think like the soft spoken can be a little bit harder, especially in an outdoor environment. But I think what we're working with is pretty cool. You know, the, the sound that we're able to get, I think is really, really good compared to like the circumstances. Yeah, you being outside, like you say, wind, birds, it also adds to the element of it. It's almost as if you are, you know, in this pool right now, just listening to somebody perform. And on top of that, just being able to see this huge mountain in the background to see when the sun sets, it gives it a real feel to it. Uh, Almost festival feel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's really hard capturing all of that, like dealing with natural light, but trying to bring in studio light is really difficult and yeah. you're dealing with so many varying levels of light um, and like to really get it to where I need, um, like we're just, you know, we're coming up with our business plan right now because we need more investment. And Definitely. We need a lot of money put into it still. Um, and like I need about $12,000 just to get the yeah. visuals to where they need to be, you know, cause I need an extra camera. I need actually two extra cameras because I need all of the same camera, um, and a bunch of different things just to make it. So the outside looks the best it can, you know, cause that, that it's, being, it's hard. That being said though, I'd like to see a stream with the visual quality that we have right now, like yeah. match it, like at least yeah. in the outdoor setting. Yeah. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean like we, you know, that's that's kind of the whole thing. Like we've approached when we were starting this up, um, we approached like a number of artists and they were, you know, not too stoked about it. Um, it was definitely hard starting this off. I think people need to see what it could potentially always. look like. Proof of concept always yeah. first. Um, and we got to a point where like we kind of had a couple artists kind of like end up making their own live oh, wow. stream um, wow. which is fine yeah, yeah, yeah but like course. we we were just kind of like we challenge you to do <laughs> what we are doing it is yeah. so hard yeah. um and then also just like the space that we have um we are really lucky to be able to use um andre's backyard um to have such a beautiful view right. so um just having that all come together is is really lucky yeah you have to match not only the quality but the experience the ambiance of the whole mm-hmm. thing like Tiny Desk is cool because it's like, oh, we're in the office. Like, but this, <laughs> like, like I said, it's like a festival every single weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would, I would love to see this in not COVID times. Yeah. Cause something like this could really change a game. Mm-hmm. So, to have know, multiple artists at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Like a, kind of like a private that. venue. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, that's like future plans. We we definitely have like an idea of what we would like to do mm-hmm. probably like two years from now. Yeah. Um, it, you know. It's all based on how COVID. Yeah, exactly. Like, Everything is, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, every single day, like I feel like we're not doing enough, honestly. Mm. Um, it's really hard. Like we're constantly battling to just get better content, all of those things. Yeah. It's really hard, though. You know, we're working with no budget. Yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, we're trying to get the best artists we can out here um, because we want to feature, you know, Bay Area's best talent. And also L.A. We get a lot of L.A. artists now. Yeah. Um, and just in general, like, you know, we actually have an artist coming out from New Jersey, which oh, is like nice. insane. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. And then, like, we didn't even reach out to them. They just hit us up and we're, they're like, hey, we love your stuff. Can we come out? And we're just like, of course, you're freaking awesome i don't want to like to say who it is because no like, no keep that under wraps yeah yeah we, we like to surprise people yeah keep um, that under wraps i don't need that exclusive <laughs> but yeah I, I it has become i think both of our babies yeah. um and it has become probably the most stressful thing in my life uh um, definitely that <laughs> but i love it you know um and i definitely want to change it for anything so mm-hmm. yeah so i've I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing something very similar. I'm doing that on the poetry side, spoken word side of the game. 
So I just had a backyard barbecue. 20, 30 people. Mm-hmm. Huge backyard. Everybody had their own secluded areas, little tents and everything in the right. backyard. And we did two two poets, five poems back to back. And filming it, hosting it all at the same time is the hugest headache ever. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for someone that's doing this like me, who wants to do this uh, during COVID, <laughs> what advice would you give them? What What can you tell them to do to to make their quality, you know, a one? Don't film off your laptop webcam. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell everybody. We can tell it's off your web. <laughs> uh, I mean, just saying from our personal experience too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know about, but like our first session was along those lines. Yeah, <laughs> like our first test session. Uh, yeah, but like. The thing is, like, we knew that was never going to be was, our setup. Thing, but, you like, know. The thing is, people run with that, and then they have, a, like, a whole thing going, and they're filming it off their webcam or something. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd say invest into a good camera. Yes. Invest into a good... Um, it's like, expensive. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it's going to cost money. Yeah. If you, you want to do it right, it's going to cost definitely have to put money into it. Um, and, like, that, that was basically us. We, like, definitely were on unemployment for this COVID thing. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know food and everything else is important but we're like let's put this money this edd money into something like yeah. that can turn into something in the future let's let's build with it instead of just you know veg and yeah. watch netflix and order doordash all day you yeah. know exactly. invest this money that uh, that i'm getting yeah the joke was that there was summit session sponsored by edd yeah <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's funny thank you yeah i i was saying recently with my business partner i was like I asked him, I said, what is the number? If someone wanted to invest in you, just here, take this money. How much would you ask for? Yeah, I mean, mean, we have our number. (laughs) Uh, We're literally going over. This is like our other thing that we do when we're not filming right now, which is just like our business plan, because we need to get investors in order to um, continue this because, you know, we're, you know, we're not charging the artist and we never will charge the artist. Right. that's not what this is about for us. Uh, it's just about giving the artist a place to perform right. during COVID. It will expand from that eventually. But um, as of right now, we just want the best live stream possible for the yeah, artist yeah, yeah. during COVID, you know? And besides like some wonderful friends we have that are helping us, like it's really just me and him yeah. like working on this plan. So yeah. it's kind of some things are our first time for us and we're learning as we go to. Um, but it's, it's, you know, I, I thank the people that are helping us along the way. Yeah. Yeah. We have some great yeah, people I, around yeah, us. Without, Absolutely. without, a group uh, of of solid individuals, man. This mm. this plan wouldn't work. I had to call in all my favors. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, I need you to shoot. Hey, I need you. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I had to. Yeah, I had to call in all my favors. Like, hey, yeah. are you are you, you guys coming to the show? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's 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 weird now. It's yeah. like it's it's hard. Normally, we would we would wouldn't think twice about going to these mm-hmm. shows. And how are you getting your artists? You know, that's gotten easier now um that's it's pretty easy now like i think a majority we we, like we still reach out to artists but um a majority of the artists now just kind of reach out to us Mm. um and then we listen and we decide if we like them or not um not to we like all artists but like you know there's just some that we feel like would be better for the show yeah 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 Um, not every artist are good performers. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And and I think we're still learning that, you know, like we're still learning the difference between, you know, studio recording and live performance. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it's, it's difficult what we're asking artists to do as mm-hmm. well. We're asking them to perform live. Right. And try to be perfect for forty five minutes to an hour, straight, yeah, which is hard, yeah. you know. Um, for most artists, just planning that forty five minutes to an hour, it's a, it's a lot to think about because yeah, you got to think well, like what songs do people want to hear? Mm-hmm. What songs do I like to perform? Yeah, it, it's difficult. Yeah, and you know, we we're asking the as I said, we're asking artists to do a lot, um, and I think that was kind of like our biggest issue initially were, was we were asking artists to do a lot. Um, and I think like the person or sorry, the artist that really kind of put us out there, um, I think was Jetpack Jones and Tone Oliver. Um, when they came, I think we saw like a pretty big, uh, 
I guess like we got noticed like by a lot of different people all of a sudden, yeah. you know, um, I think Jetpack made us legitimate um, yeah, in a way. Yeah. So, um, but that, you know, that was a long process getting these artists, like every single artist is probably booked about two months out. Oh, um, wow. We're booked until November now. Dope. Um, and we're actually Dope. not taking, we're not taking submissions anymore. Uh, um, like, no, so the window is closed. Excuse me. Like we're taking submissions, <laughs> but like, we're not going to give Bucky. you a date right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, just because we got to leave room for other artists yeah. possibly in the future. Um, so yeah, it's all of it's like, kind of feels crazy you mm-hmm. know it's it's a lot to deal with um but yeah i i feel really lucky that andre and i have this right now during this time because i would be so bored otherwise yeah so, i believe yeah. it crazy bored <laughs> i believe yeah. it it's it um you know i i have seen my personal friends on this show and it makes me happy because outside of me like pushing them out i don't see them anywhere like right it's like i i'm glad that y'all y'all like some of the people that i like to listen to right um shout out to santo soul shout out to kyle capricorn um two phenomenal artists who have done this show shout out to blake williams shout out to dame drummer Love y'all, man. Y'all, y'all keep y'all keep me excited about music. Oh yeah. For a long time, I just wasn't listening to anything other than the old stuff that I was listening to. Right. It's like now I have friends that make music that is really dope, and it helps me fall in love with music all over again. Because mm-hmm. now I could just pull up on them as like, hey, like, what were you thinking when you made this song? Mm-hmm. What was going through your head when you made this? Right, song? it's right. cool to be able to actually like talk to that artist directly yeah. and like get the real message behind the song. Exactly, because as a kid, you know, I always wanted to be friends with these people that I'm listening to. Like, how did you do it? How how did you come up with these bars? Right. Like, how did you right. put these words together? And now I have the chance to, and it, it and I also have the chance to help their music. Mm-hmm. Right, and that for me is the best is the best thing ever because now I have a hand in it. Even if it's a, a little pinky. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, even if it's a pinky. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That just makes me feel so good. Yeah. And yeah. What when you when you think of summit sessions, what is your mission statement? What is the message that you want to get out? For artists by artists. That's Perfect. it. Um we we really like we want people to realize like that we're, we're artists. Like we we know what, what you want. Yeah. And like we want to provide that that experience. Like we want the artist that has uh, 5,000 followers and the artist that has 50,000 followers to feel like the same. Yeah. You know, we want them to come here and feel treated, you know, like, Definitely. like they're getting that backstage experience. They're getting a stage to perform on and it's their show. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you said earlier, um, asking for a lot of the artists, mm-hmm. these artists really typically don't get that much time. On a lot stage, of these, right? Yeah, a right. lot of these yeah. is like yeah. 15, 20 yeah. minute sets. Mm-hmm. And you're telling them we're headlining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yes. So it's it's up to them for what they come with and right. perform. We like we obviously want more. Like Dame came out with like over an hour material or something. I think it was eleven it was he, eleven tracks. Yeah. He yeah. has it. He has his music yeah. on deck. But the same thing, Kyle had like what, like five, six yeah. songs and mm-hmm. like still an entertaining performance. Like so I'm I'm not saying the time is like an issue. We mm-hmm. we originally when we started, we wanted to do like a whole opener yeah. and then like kind of like a middle thing and mm-hmm. then the, the headliner. Yeah. But it's kind of turned into like, you know, each artist just gets their episode. That's really cool. Yeah, it was it was just a lot of streaming time. Mm -hmm. Um, It was a huge drain on the cameras and everything just to be going for like two hours and 30 minutes. So um, I think the early ones were like on borderline like three hours because we had like we had like a 40 minute like intro screen that would just play like chill music until the stream started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, you know, it was probably the initial idea of that like intro screen was like literally like chill beats to study to yeah 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 <laughs> it's like i don't know like we both went to college so like i used to basically 24 7 just have like literally like low lo- lo-fi beats like yep. just playing in my room because i would just 
be studying, doing whatever I was in my yeah. room. So it would just be nice to have like constant music and that's just kind of like easy listening to. So the first hour was kind of supposed to be within that realm. Yeah, so yeah, I thought yeah. was like people would put it on while they're doing stuff yeah, and then yeah. the show would come on and they'd yeah. be like, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, like, let's get excited yeah. for it. What's the feedback been? Positive. Yeah. I would say it's, it's, it's growing. Um, I think early on, like, you know, feedback is just like likes comments yeah. views yeah. but now like we're definitely getting more comments we're definitely like before each stream i see people like waiting to watch Dope. which is really cool Dope. seeing like having like a lobby of like 12 15 people ready yeah. to watch the stream before ready, it even right? before even it's, it's on you yeah, know like we don't even have the countdown timer and they're like let's go where's it at like yeah yeah um anything that you've learned in doing this from the from the from those comments any criticism that you you've taken and said okay we could do this better i think format sometimes maybe there there's a lot like i feel like there's so much we can continue to be doing better with and i don't think it's ever going to be perfect until we have like a full team Mm -hmm. um which you know i don't you know it's it's always hard to like say are we ever going to get to that point you know are are people going to continue to watch our streams like um so yeah it's it's going to be hard i don't know if we'll ever necessarily be perfect but we notice that you know like it's it's not it doesn't whenever we have a mess up like it's not unnoticed by us. Like yeah. we, we know, yeah, yeah. we know, you know, like we're, we're going to be the first to see it. Like there's a lot of color issues that probably not a lot of people notice, but mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh my God, that's killing me. You know, <laughs> like I'm just like, yeah. that looks terrible. Um, but you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's a process. It's, it's a process. I mean, it's, it's definitely not going to be something that's overnight. Um, yeah. this is an endurance game for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, we're, we're in the music business and yeah, the exactly. entertainment business. Like we're, we're right. tackling two industries that are, very hard to get into. Definitely difficult. But it's definitely a market that is striving right now. Yeah. Like the, the, the video streaming market is yeah. is getting bigger and bigger, um, especially during COVID. Yeah, because we want to see live music. Yeah. And there's nowhere to do it. And, and people like to socialize. And right now, so exactly. the comment section is the only place for people to socialize yeah. right now yeah. in some places. I mean, other people are breaking rules, but, you know. Yeah. 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 It. Yeah. I say I said the same thing. It was. Every single show that I do. It's just a learning experience. Mm-hmm. Like I had my first show was just the artist. Second show was the artist plus maybe four or five people in the audience. Then third show was the backyard. Right. So it gets it gets bigger mm-hmm. yeah. every time. Yeah. And more stuff goes wrong every time. Yeah. <laughs> to now yeah. it's like, okay, so now how can I do this in a backyard? using the light the natural light Mm -hmm. using you know working with the sun working with environment we had a drone out there Uh, (laughs) so getting the drone to a place that you can see what's going on but doesn't mess up the sound right so even that is like oh Damn it. <laughs> There's a lot, it's a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say if, if we weren't learning something every stream, like it wouldn't be fun and it wouldn't be like, I, I wouldn't feel like I'm accomplished anything if I didn't yeah. have to troubleshoot, if I didn't go like, oh God, what, what's happening yeah, here? Like, you know, isn't that's, that's what makes it kind of exciting. Yeah. Like I could for like each stream, put a preset on my mixer uh-huh. and like just load it up and be like, all right, we're ready to go. Yeah. But I like doing it fresh every stream. I know he likes setting up cameras fresh because colors change Definitely. every day. Like the lighting's Definitely. gonna be different every day. It's yeah. gotten really different also like now because we're, we're losing smoke and also we're just like losing a lot of light this time of year. Definitely. Um, so like now when we start shooting, it's like Bobby's like in the dark and I've just started to notice that the past oh, two yeah, on that other side. and like yeah. I've started to put a light on him but like even that like the color balance now on that camera is like just not right mm-hmm. um it's a great shot but like the color is just wrong yeah. um so like there's so much stuff that we're just like constantly tweaking because it's it's hard it is um especially our choice to like shoot at sunset yeah. where the light is going to change yeah. as we're shooting. <laughs> exactly. and, that's, and that's also where we, he said, like, we, until we have, like, more staff, more right. people to help, right. like, someone, you know, working the cameras. Because he, Marcel does so much when we're live. Mm-hmm. He is yeah, he is I'll handling. Say, yeah, he's you running around. It, you see yeah. him running around and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I'll switch over and I'll, like, switch stuff while he's busy. But, mm-hmm. like, even then I can't do half the stuff he does. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's, um, shout out to Upside Down Ghost, my business partner. Like he does all the shit that I give no fucks about, and then I do all the shit that he gives no fucks about. So we work so well together. It's like I don't like you deal with the artists, I'll deal with the 
photography. I deal with the video. I deal with the everything like that. Like I deal with the you know you deal with the venue. I deal with the people coming into the venue. Like mm-hmm. things like that. Um. So yeah, a partnership or brotherhood is definitely solid. And I see from y'all too that this is really strong. Mm-hmm. How long have y'all known each other? It's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> so yeah, so really that's, good that's question. A, that's a story within itself. Yeah, actually. I mean, I don't even know if we should really talk about that story of how we met. Um, <laughs> but it, it's probably been like three years or something like that. But we've known about each other for a while. Um, yeah, we we met at a bowling alley actually. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, should we just tell it? Just yeah, tell the yeah, story. Right, right, right. Just tell so, the story. It's, it's um, is it, wait, what's the is, is eighteen plus podcast? Yeah. Okay. We're, okay. We're, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I mean, like, we're not going to go into, like, we're not going detail, but, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, definitely exactly. a funny yeah. story. Um, yeah, so it was, like, a bunch of our friends from high school mm-hmm. meeting up at a bowling alley, and I was just, like, really not stoked on going. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, God, I just don't. Both, both of us were not stoked. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We, so, like, we didn't know each other we were going to be there. Right. I think a mutual friend invited us both, though. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. both was like, fuck this. I was like, I want to stay home. I don't want to go out to this bowling alley. Like, are we, why are we bowling? We're like, well, let's go drink or something. Right? I, I can't remember. <laughs> and, like, it was, it was just, like. I don't want I, there was there was like two new people there. Andre is one of those new people. I'm like, I don't want to meet new people. Right. I'm sorry. Like, I just don't want to deal with new people tonight. Um, So I'm just kind of like hanging out in the back, like not bowling mm-hmm. because I just don't care. Yeah. And um, this bowling alley, for some godforsaken reason, has a chat window on the computers and you can chat to every single lane. Wow. OK. Throughout the bowling alley. Yeah. Which to me, being an awful person, I'm just like, I'm going to just send terrible messages to people, you know, (laughs) just like see if anybody wants to hook up or something like that, you know, just get real weird with it. Um, Meet me in the bathroom. And as it turned (laughs) out. He met you in the bathroom? (laughs) As it turned out. out out. (laughs) The lane next to me, there was an equally weird person. (laughs) Present. On the chat. Present. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, so Andre and I start chatting, and it's just getting so weird. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I just like look over. I'm like, all right, who? Which lane is yeah. this? And Who's then, uh, directly in the in the screen. Yeah. And then Andre is just like looking straight at me, just <laughs> nodding. <laughs> With, with like a a pretty a pretty shit eating grin on my face. Like, oh yeah, like yeah, yes, you know me. what's happening. Yeah. And at this point, I just lose it. I just start laughing so hard, and I'm like, all right, I guess we're best friends now. Like, I guess I guess it's, it's official, easy, yeah. you know. So, um, that was the terrible way we met. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I don't think it, either of us had the idea. Like, I didn't know he was in like acting or anything or production at that time. Right. He didn't know I was doing sound. We were yeah. just. Two dudes goofing off at a bowling alley, yeah. sending yeah. <laughs> weird, yeah. weird messages back and yeah. forth. Which he didn't mention. The other lanes could see. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Like other families on lanes could see, like <laughs> hot singles in your area Th- r- ready is... to meet. Like, like, what are we bowling? <laughs> Why would the bowling alley allow this? Why would they allow a person like us at all? No, no one came up to there us. was no repercussions. What is going on? That is funny. You know? Really, they, I think the staff there should be looked at. You know, they I think be. I think management should take they a should look be. and like talk to them because that was inappropriate. We <laughs> took advantage of the system, but. There's something wrong with it. That's all yeah. we're saying. Yeah. yeah, you took advantage of the system, and then you got a best friend out of it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, yeah. that's epic. Yeah, because they're a win. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, fellas, I appreciate y'all for letting me come through. Hell yeah. Um, music. Baka on the beat. Yes. Can we talk about that real quick? Oh yeah. Who is Baka? Baka. Baka is me. It's my yeah. last name. Yeah. I am Andre Baka. Um. I, I so I've I've been making hip hop beats for a while. Okay. I I make strictly electronic music for myself. Like so, Baka is more my electronic side. Okay. Though I do use it to like affiliate with some of the rappers and stuff mm-hmm. I work with. Um, shout out to here. Uh, shout out Sharif. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hassan Sharif Hassan. So I gotta say the whole thing. There's probably other Sharifs out there. Um, yeah, they're like hip hop is just like I I love hip hop because I love cadence. Yeah. And I like forming a beat to cadence. Okay. So when I make a beat, I'm usually thinking about like how they would be filling the gaps or the spots, dope. you know? That's dope. Um, 
other than that, electronic music is my like experimental side mm. where I can actually work on sound design because that's my passion is yeah, sound yeah. design. Like I love live sound and I love recording artists. I love mixing, mastering, but sound design is where it's fun. Synthesis, FM synthesis, subtractive additive, you, you name it. I love yeah. all types of synthesis. I gotta, I gotta contact you with, uh, with my, uh, with my engineer. Y'all, uh, y'all probably <laughs> hit it off. Well, he, it he's, sure. he's, uh, Shout out to Chris Morrison. He he edits all the pods, and he just he he'll hit me and like, yo, yeah, the 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 frequency of of this of this sound isn't as wet as I need it to be. I'm just like, thanks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. That's, years ago, yeah. like, because I don't know what any of that should be. Mm-hmm. And I and so that, that's cool because it it sounds like he's like an engineer producer, yeah, exactly. And like that, I I know a few like engineer producers, yeah, yeah. and it's, there is not to be like kind of like a, you know snobby about it, but yeah. there is a difference between like the producer mm-hmm. and the producer who also engineers like Max. mix and masters because they think a little bit more about that stuff. Yeah, they think yeah. about frequencies, they think about resonance, and they mm-hmm. think about um, how things will clash more in the mix mm-hmm. and space. And I think that's cool. I like to, when I mix, at least I like to think of a box. Right, right. I'm sure you might have heard this before if you think of the box. Yeah, yeah. Um, this will talk to you, and then you want to fill every space in the mm-hmm. box. Uh, and I think that's just like a really cool thing. Once it clicks, I don't know if there's any producers listening, but once that clicks with you, you're like, Chris oh, my oh my God. Oh my God. Like, you can put stuff like deep in the sides in the back and you can have stuff in the middle up yeah. front. You know, it's, I think that that was the passion for me too behind it was like learning the science mm-hmm. behind music. And that's why I went to engineering school basically. Yeah. He, I think, I think he's going to fall in love with you on this episode because oh. you have, he doesn't have to do much editing this episode. Oh, I, I hope I made it easy. Yeah. You <laughs> definitely have made it easy for him. So yeah. Um, Chris, I've, uh, found you. I, f- a soulmate <laughs> whoa bro you can't take him from me can we, can we get some play careless whisper in the background tell us where to find you um tell us where we can listen to the the show uh summit sessions uh if, if you search summit sessions right now i think we pop up on everything yeah we're the we're the first to pop up on youtube instagram youtube yeah. twitch although um there is another summit sessions uh they're it's kind of funny they're like also a live music stream um but they're michigan states uh broadcast program oh wow um you guys have no mountains it's 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 <laughs> really no lame it's, it's also really lame <laughs> Just, yeah, just I, shit on them. I mean, I mean, you guys are doing yeah, g- good job because you know I don't want to I don't want to shit on anyone that's out there trying to do stuff. I agree. Yeah. You guys you are know, doing a good job. job. I just want to be real with you guys. Why summit sessions? You're, there's no mountains. There's no mountains. There's no mountains. Like, can, you, can you be like sessions or I don't know. Sp- actually, never mind. Sparta sessions. Sparta sessions. You guys Sparta are the Spartans. Sessions. Sessions. Just, you, know, you know, like lake sessions or something. Do you really need us to come up with a better name? <laughs> you know, like what the heck? Sorry, you guys are awesome. You guys are killing it. Yeah, but we do we do want money for those names if you end up using them. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you guys were there before us, pay us. Yeah, in fact. <laughs> Summit sessions on Instagram. Summit um, sessions on it. Yep. Where do you where do you stream? Twitch? Uh YouTube and Twitch. YouTube and Twitch. Twitch everything uh, is Summit Sessions. Everything after, is Summit Sessions. After every stream, the videos will be up on YouTube. Awesome. Yep. So you can still watch all of our catalog. Definitely. Definitely. I'm I watch every every week. So thank you. Thank you. I love y'all. We appreciate we, we, you. We 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 respect and love our fans. Yes. yes. Uh, we do. Tune in every week. Yes. We don't say it enough, but thank you so much yeah, all for everybody that watches yeah, and supports us. Seriously. Yeah. Dope. And you know where to find me, Best Med Pod on on everything. Man, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. And you're awesome. You uh I'm a, someone else who I kind of I do a podcast, but I I don't talk to people as well. So yeah. this is like Three introverted people having a great conversation. Oh, yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> None of us are looking at each other yeah, currently. No, no, we're, we're, we're all actually in separate boxes. <laughs> we're in cubicles. <laughs> Best man pod is your man Simba Roar back in his thing thing one more time, bro. We out. Peace. <laughs>